Shifting cultivation, we say, is usually carried in slash and burn in the traditional way. So slash is chopping down tree with an axe or with whatever um, tool. Burn is to burn the tree down, basically. Set fire off, which is more efficient and time saving, effort saving as well. Because you just clear a certain boundary of trees and just let, let it burn. So faster and also after the trees are burned, the ash becomes the soil nutrient through the nutrient cycle, which we, we won't cover it now. So the nutrients from the ashes of trees will eventually get absorbed by the soil, which becomes a nutrient. Yeah. So slash and burn or shifting cultivation is usually practiced for native people in the tropical rainforest, usually. So they have a population and they need to grow food, right? farming, agriculture. So they clear a section of the forest, let's say plot A, and then they will start growing and settle down, inhibit in plot A for a few years until all the soil nutrients are depleted, are used up for the crops. Then they think that, okay, growing crops in this plot A is no longer productive. Crop yield is low because the nutrient is depleted. Soil fertility is low. So they move on to plot B another section of the rainforest and they carry out slash and burn again and then they settle there for another few years that's why we call it shifting cultivation they move from plot a to plot b part of the forest to another part of it so that they take advantage of the soil nutrient in plot b and then they settle it for a few years soil fertility decreases then they go through the process again now they move on to plot c another new place to take advantage of the nutrient. And then eventually, maybe because of the tribe, maybe because of the boundary, whatever. So they will, after several years in plot C, they will return to plot A. And by then, let's say it's around five years for, from A to B is five years, B to C is another five years. So it's 10 years later from plot C, they return to plot A. 10 years later, we say that usually the soil nutrient would have recovered. Like the soil is now fertile again. So they start growing again, slash and burn again. So the whole process repeats. They just migrate from A to B to C and then C back to A. Keep going it for years. And it's actually not destructive to the rainforest. If done properly, if the forest has enough time or enough years to be left fallowed, we say the land is left fallowed, F-A-L-L-O-W means no agricultural activity is being conducted. So it's just there for regeneration. Then naturally the forest can recover after 10 years, right? But the problem is rising population in these native tribes. We say because for various reasons, they're giving birth to more people. Maybe in Indonesia, people are migrating there because of transmigration. There are more people in the forest doing the same shifting cultivation. And because of a larger population, they need to grow more crops. So they either do it more intensively by cultivating more crops on the same plot of land, or they do it more extensively, expanding the farmland. So in any case, the soil nutrient will be used up faster. And as a result, the soil will deplete faster. So Let's say the original cycle was 10 years. A to B, five years. B to C, five years. But now the soil deplete in three years. After three years, because they grow crops intensively, all the nutrients are gone. So they move from A to B only three years. So the whole cycle completes with six years versus 10 years. So the problem comes when the forest and the soil is not given enough time to recover and regenerate. Then every time, it's kind of, if you think about your phone, you don't charge until 100%. You only charge to 60%, then you start using it again. Then your phone battery will drain faster or the use time is shorter because you only have 60% to start with. Then after 60%, you have to charge it again. And then you are so impatient. I say, oh, I need to play games. I can't wait for it to charge. Then you unplug it again. 
So now 30% you start playing again. Then you only have 30% to play. Then it drains so fast, then you have to charge it again. So the same mechanism happens with the soil nutrient, kind of like a battery, right? So when the population gets bigger, eventually the rainforest cannot regenerate itself because the cycle is shorted. So it becomes very destructive to the rainforest. 